Hey everyone, I'm Joe from DocuSign University. Welcome to Training Tips, where today I want to talk to you about how to set up witness signing for a recipient. Signs for the witness is an add-on feature within eSignature, and it lets you assign someone to witness the signer while they're going through and completing an agreement. Let's start by setting up an envelope. In your eSignature accounts, from the homepage, let's create a brand new envelope. Next, we'll add our document. In order for us to add a witness, we need to add a witness group. Next to the recipient button, click on the drop down and select add a witness group. A witness group includes a signer and up to two witnesses. To add a second witness, simply click on the add witness button. Next, we need to complete the signer name and email fields for the recipient. Once we've completed our recipient details, we can add the details for our witness. When adding a witness, we have two options. If you don't know the name of the witness, you can select signer specifies witness. This means that the signer will add the name and email address for each witness during the signing process. If you know the name of the witness, you can select specify a witness and fill in the name and email address for each witness. In our example, we'll select specify a witness. Let's finish preparing our envelope by adding our signature fields for both the recipient and the witness. When the signer opens up the envelope, they'll be presented with a pop-up. If you selected signer specifies a witness, your signer will be required to enter in the details of the witness. If you selected specify a witness, the details you entered in for the witness will appear and if required, the recipient will be able to update the details. Once your recipient completes the signing process, the envelope will be redirected to the witness. The witness receives an email notification asking them to witness the document. When they access the envelope, the witness is required to verify the information, the occupation and address. By default, the witness can view all of the documents in the envelope when they are signing, and after signing, they can no longer view any of the documents. As the sender, when you are viewing the envelope details, You'll be able to see the witness information entered in by the sign. And that's how to set up witness signing for a recipient. I hope you found this training tip useful. And for more information, please check out Dr. Sign University.